Hello everyone, welcome to Edgewater Saskatchewan. So this is a brand new map by South Sask Modding and BC Bueller. This just came out on Mod Hub probably a couple days ago at this point. As you can see, we're not on the base farm where you start. This is the cow farm. Right away, we do start with a couple crops in the fields. So we start with peas. It's one of the brand new crops included with this map as long as um flax is new to them with the map as well as lintels so we have peas in our big field we also have is a wheat yep, and canola now we have seasons on as well as precision farming so we gotta look here which needs to be so peas are harvest season right now and wheat is as well canola is next month okay See, precision farming, we'll have to get the soil samples. We can either purchase them now or later. I'm not sure which would be most cost effective. It really matters. I don't I don't really know. Now we have seasons on as well as snow. I gotta increase my my times. I was moving stuff over, I wasn't had that lower. Yeah, so this is all the machinery that we start with, as long as there's a disc arrow over there and two augers. But right away, we're going to start trying to get the peas harvested first. I think the peas are more important than the wheat is. The wheat is, yeah, the wheat is this month. Oh. With the header out. Uh oh. We're gonna pretend I probably hit something. Um. All right, there we go. We're out. <laughs> Might need a little bit bigger of a shed or something for this. We have uh, less sheds than we do at the starting farm. We you well first start. Like I said we kind of moved ship already. Yeah, I guess I could show you the machinery that we start out with. It'd be here. So we start out with a John Deere 4755, a Massey Ferguson 3670, a uh, Russell Mash. I might probably have that wrong. RSM 2375, a Superliner 6x4. A New Holland CH7.70 pickup. We have the Distinction Super Beat Pole Trailer. 28 foot header for the New Holland. Disc Arrow Power Flex 95. The Cedar a Solid Tear 12. Sp sprayer Navigator 4000 Delta Force. Uh, well as a front loader, a bell fork or pallet fork, and a universal bucket, and then our augers. Yeah, unfortunately, we got this farm with weeds in it, so it's gonna gonna hurt our yield this time around. That one doesn't look too bad for weeds. I don't see any weeds in it at least. Actually, it's this way for the bees. That one doesn't look too bad. It's the big crop, the big field that has the weeds in it. Yeah, this may not yield as well due to that, unfortunately. And with this map, there's also uh, was a canola straw, flax straw. Uh, I believe there might be one more. I don't remember. And there's a new pickup header along with that. So we'll have to get that once we hit. Well, canola and wheat, really. We probably will just do it. Because there is a... I believe there is a yield bonus. And we'll have to go around the headland. We do, or we are able to use workers on this series. 
as well as leasing. It's not too bad of a yield. This, I don't think the best price is until like next year. So we're probably going to try and store it if we can, if we can financially and do that. Yeah, we'll have to get the headland done. Headland. Then we'll have to... I'll grab the truck. Hopefully we can make... Yeah, we should be able to make it around. We'll get the truck so we can unload it as the worker goes while we work on other, other things. We'll probably get the soil sampler either rented well, actually oh it's showing pH levels and stuff right now yeah well as we're going through it on our map oh yield level levels so right here we're doing good on yield <laughs> the one bit right there yeah, probably not going to be the greatest yield just because, A, we we basically inherited this field in a sense with all the weeds and who knows if it was really fertilized. dang we're, we're already almost full and we're not even around it which is a good thing it means it yielded really well we'll get as far as we can yeah i don't know much about precision farming this is the first series i've used it on really first time but as much as i know about it is from like watching youtube videos for an hour about it so oh be quicker around here realistically we wouldn't do that though we do not have a uh, crop destruction on maybe in the future is i've never played with it before on but we definitely could in the future so field stone is on although we may not end up using that really because uh well, we'll still have to do it because of periodic plowing. Uh, so we'll still have to plow, so we'll still get some stones and stuff. Because it comes with a disc arrow, which is more of just like a seed bed. It's not much of a deep dig. And uh, plowing, I know... I believe it doesn't have effect on our environmental score. And environmental score is where you get your bonuses from. We'll do first person. It's like it's like I'm playing for, um, American Trucks. Yeah, we'll have to get. Oh, we'll probably get the augers ready. Stuff like that. Well, all the workers working on this. Once we get probably, uh, we could probably do two passes. Probably make it a little bit better for them. I'm not sure how much this trailer actually holds. Looks like it holds it a lot, like a good amount. This is all the base um, equipment that you start with. The only difference that we have is we're in a different farm, different fields. Is the oh, saving? <laughs> you originally start over here in field one, which has flax in it, and you have this farm here. I just bought these. It's and that too. It's, I believe it's a tad less land. But my thought is we also have the cows. So we also have the cows in there. And that, I mean, the cow barn is worth quite a bit. That's one of the reasons why I chose this exact farm stead on this map is because I've been wanting to do animals. I've, I've said it multiple times. This is kind of a way to do it. Cows are probably, probably take some of them more work in a sense because there's a uh, total mixed ration. I know that's how you get a hundred percent productivity. 
Although we can do hay, which we'll probably end up doing. Just hay, I believe, is like 80. We'll probably end up doing that for a little while. Till we're able to get everything for a total mixed ration. Because we do have one grass field. I can kind of give a bit of a tour of the farm once we have the worker working on this. So, once the worker's working on it, we'll probably move the auger over, which I've never really used augers. We'll grab probably the soil sampler. We'll probably just do that way over the, um, just buying the soil map. I, I'm assuming it's a bit cheaper. It's kind of a way we can figure it out. Although we have to lease it. That's the plan at least, is the lease, the, the scout, I believe it's called. Yeah, any tips or ch uh, tricks for precision farming would be much appreciated. I'm, I'm a bit new to it, as I've said. I know it's, uh, you know, realistic. There's a lot of, you know, you get a bonus from it being environmental friendly in a sense. I'll probably end up doing two passes to make it best. Best for the worker. Which is a lot. This is a large field. We're going to get a lot of money from this. We can look at how much peas are, but I'm pretty sure they're not worth much right now. Peas, 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 peas. Well, I mean, 800. It's worth a good amount. Uh, peak is in July. We're probably not going to be able to hold off that long. But right now we're in the worst, the worst month. According to this. So if we can get up, you know, we can wait till like February time. I mean, it's not going to be the max, but it'll be something. The canola will probably end up selling right away. It's not a great price. And wheat, not the great price either. But we have to get some income. Because kind of need a little bit of income to make it through the winter. Um, so I have snow on. The map developers on the Mod Hub description said they can be... There's a lot of snowfalls and stuff. Which is realistic. Was, uh, Saskatchewan is part of Canada, as far as I know. Yeah. And Canada has a lot of snow. I, I'm a, a north north kind of guy for the U.S. So I kind of I can understand a lot of snow. <laughs> That's what we deal with it where I'm at. So yeah, we'll have it on at least at least one year snow. If it gets to a point where I'm unable to do things for several months and I end up just having to, you know, time go past it, then we'll have to end up turning it off just for the, um, just for the video factor of it, the entertainment pur purposes. Because I can't have four videos in a row where it's just me blowing snow. You know, I don't, I wouldn't mind having it, you know, part of one. Or something. I haven't really dealt with much snow in farming sim, so. Part of me almost wants to bring the truck over here now. Yeah. Actually, let's do that. We'll make it around the entire field then. And I can bring the truck back over by the yard. I should have popped the pipe out for the uh, harvester. Yeah, once we get done with this headland, I'll, I'll give a bit of tour of the place. We'll grab the scout, get that going. Think how long it takes for the worker. Maybe we can try and mow the one field? The back field? So I wouldn't mind trying to get cows as soon as I can. They're a good source of income. They get the best um, nitrogen 
you have to use, I believe, slurry, like before beforehand. Where am I at? Oh, I'm way short. Like before the planting, and then you use liquid fertilizer after, I believe. So we'll have to get a slurry tank or something. We'll see. As far as I know, the cows give that. I, <laughs> I I'm like IRL. I know they they give you. Get back out of here. So uh, we'll try to get this up by the actual farm. And we'll finish the headland. Yeah, goal is for this video to get this piece harvested. Then we have two smaller fields we can kind of work with next. Next time. Plus this is kind of... If we for some reason are unable to do the wheat next video, which we should be able to. Probably be the next harvest. Then it's not as big of a deal if we have to, you know, plow it under. It's not as big of a field. I would like not to. Oh. Well, we'll get this up here. All right, let's put the pipe in. Now I have to finish this headland. There should be plenty of room for the worker. Should be. Just about finished with the second pass on the headland, and then we'll let we'll let the worker go on it. Probably burn it up to that top corner and by the road. Should be the best, I would think, for the worker. I'm not sure how much the worker AI has approved over the years. I know a couple of years ago when I played, I played a lot of. Um, Farming Sim 17. Um, that's probably my most played Farming Sim before this one, honestly. A bit of 19. But... Honestly, I'm, I'm surprised how many parts are saying that we're yielding good for something that was unprepared. Oh, yeah. Weeds. Yeah, everything has weeds. I know. This field will need plowing, which is the grass field, of course. Stones, which, I mean, every field has stones. Even the water has, has stones in it. Okay. Yeah, the yield map, I'm surprised. We're actually we're green in a lot of places. That's by 110% yield on a lot of places, and we're also down to like, you know, 75 and others, so it, it probably evens out. Yeah, I believe this is the lowest possible price. I think that's what that's based off of. Oh, or that front one's already full. I'm not sure how the auger will work with this. I know you usually just dump in it. That's how you get it to work, but... Yep, we'll let the worker go. Yeah, let's go and grab... Let's go to grab the John Deere. All right, before I get too far in a video, I'd like to ask if anybody has any problems or anything. 
Uh, N Navigator uh, 4000 Delta Force. So this is one we have base game. That's what we start with. Now I have the mod pack that adds more precision sprayer ones. Yeah. So would anybody have any issues if I just straight changed it out just to one of these? That way in the future we could add this. We won't actually have it on right away. The only difference is we have the ability to upgrade it. Well, this one we do not. That's the that would be the only difference. If anybody has any issues with that, just let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll just uh, change it because I think that would just it's the same one. It's just have the ability to upgrade it to the other one in the future. Now I believe I believe the yellow one is what you use to put it in. bring it over here yeah I believe this um, the smaller ones are 130,000 liters and the bigger ones like 150 160,000 liters I'll put that there Now we can jump into this, because that makes sense, I'm pretty sure, right? What was that back here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like I said, I've never used one of these. Okay, All right, that makes sense, we gotta raise it. <laughs> this thing has like a lawnmower engine on it. Is there like an unfold option? Oh. Oh, there is. Okay, it's that. Okay. We'll try and line it up with this one. I'm not sure how uh, accurate it has to be. Might be good right there. Oh, I should turn that off. Our lawnmower engine. Yeah, that looks pretty dang good. As far as I know, that's how we we refill and unfill. Well, he's doing good. He's on his second lap back up. It's half percent done. We can try and figure it out. Loop around. Yeah, next um, time for this harvest, we should be better. Next year, as so we're harvesting again, we should be a much better yield position. I hope. Once we figure out everything. Now, this is the part. I, these are bottom tippers. Yeah, bottom openers. I don't know how these work. Oh, it's going. It's going. Yep. All right, we figured it out. To pull up a little bit. Can we possibly get the other one done too? And we just have an empty thing. Uh, does not appear like it wants to. Huh. Well, I can't quite figure out. Um, how am I supposed to get that back one? It doesn't seem to want to work for me. Yeah, I have yet to use augers really. So, well, we'll empty the harvester that is full. Where's that at? Oh, oh, uh, the streets. Harvester is down there. Yeah. So, I mean, if, I, if I'm un unable to figure it out and watch some videos and stuff, then... I don't know. <laughs> Get a different trailer? I don't really want to, though. This is a big trailer. A 
mouth only does if it's full, but it really doesn't make sense either. I realized I was paying this dude to sit here. We'll get a lot of peas from this. So we should show that we have some. We have 20,000 liters in storage. Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll have to figure out a little bit more about the augers. I know that is the right one, clearly. It worked. It just may not be the best thing in the world for one of these tippers. We have that turned on here. That should be about lined up, right? Yeah. I'm not sure why I couldn't get the back one, though. That should be going in there. It's not. It's a mess lined up. Yeah. Yeah, I'll end up uh, <laughs> emptying this once it's full, more or less. Quite a bit of work to try to get it to work, it seems like. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Probably pretty likely. I can turn this off. As you cop into the John Deere. Yeah, this is the grass field back here. This is the cow pen. It's a decent amount of grass. Should be able to get it, you know, a couple hay bales off of it. Oh. Then we got the cow pen, which, like I said, I have no clue if it has slurry because it's so slurry. Some cow pens do and some don't. Yeah, it does say slurry and straw. Oh, we gotta shut this off. So he, it said a wage payment. I thought he was full. Yeah, if uh, for some reason I can't quite figure this out for this trailer, I'm assuming because it's a bottom tipper, it may just not work as well, my, my thought. Yeah. We got here literally right when it said it was full. It may just not work that well, so we may end up having to change it. Which I don't know if there's really any for a truck that's a back dipper. Side dump. That's a 16. That's a triple hopper. I don't even know where the double hopper is. It's a back unload. It looks like it. That would be an op. Oh, no, no. That would be an option. It looks like it's probably the only back loads we got. This is a side dump. It's a bottom. Yeah, it looks like it's probably one of the main ones we got. Oh, uh, how much? I mean, ours is 54 grand to sell it. We definitely could sell it, not really take a huge hit on it if we need to. Well, anyways, he's doing good. Probably grab the Massey Ferguson. Higher top speed. So I want to do the soil sampling now. So that's probably should have been here. What's we got in the set? I need the pickup header. Suppose I'll need, I would need either a header trailer or my combine to go pick it up, though. Oh, yeah. They have a uh, uh, New Holland. There we go. Uh, for, honestly, for that sale, I think we'll grab it. We'll need it. So. Oh, this trailer's in there, too. 
What's the how much is the size on ours? Really an upgrade? It is an upgrade. We'd have to get rid of the, the stuff that we have in there now, but that would be a pretty good size deal. And this is a back load, far as I can tell, or a back dump. We'll grab that too. It's bigger and it is the back dump, so it should be easier in theory. We'll still have to use ours to empty what we have. Oh, I completely forgot the reason I went in there. Miscellaneous. We need a scout. Release this. All, all we need is for the soil sampling. Inner dollars release. It doesn't look like... It looks like we've spent a lot of money already. Hopefully we can take soil samples with the crap in. I didn't even think about that. I'm not quite sure where the store is. Every time I open it. Every time. Where the store is. I think it's down here. Yep, down here. So we'll go take a right, all right, a left, and it should be on our right. Yeah, right down on the Massey Ferguson is obviously the front load tractor. Looks like he probably doesn't have that many more passes until he may not be able to continue it. This is our fastest tractor, so it makes sense to do it on the road. We have a lot of stuff we got to take from the store now that we bought a bunch of stuff already. Should be... Oh, it's one... Oh, hey. Pulling out in front of me. Should be right here. Yep. There's the scout. There's the trailer. There's the header. We'll have to take the combine and probably the grab the header. We'll need that in the next two crops, so. Go and do our soil sampling. Hopefully we can do it with the craft the crop in. I just wanna get it done. That way we have the soils done. And not have to worry about it. We'll probably start with like the grass field and stuff like that. And then we can try on one of the other ones. That's this one. Yep. This is where we're going. Combine's still good. 80%. He might be able to still go here. He might not be able to go there. I like getting them done as fast as I can, obviously, too, because we're renting it. Then we'll end up basically wrapping the video up. I'm sure I'll just figure out how to dump the trailer off camera, and then we'll bring it over, sell it in the next video. I have yet to tell you this. Oh, that's the... That. Oh, I kind of parked this in a way. We'll do it on this field for, first. Well, it kind of gives us a, a range of where it's going to pick it up. Honestly, we want to where it's going to be center of the field. And we take it with B. This should take four. Should look how much it was gonna cost, and then I'll compare. How much was this supposed to cost? Otherwise, let me look. It would cost supposed to cost supposed to be eight samples, and it's supposed to be seven hundred dollars. We're probably gonna do this in a lot less, like four. Yeah, it's probably a good thing we almost didn't do it. Should be cheaper in theory. 
Try to line it up so we're getting a whole rest of the field. We'll just send those off now. And we already got back. It's $200 for the soil samples. We're already basically in the green versus just having it bought right away. Now let's, uh... Of course, that's full. Get him emptied. Fill up the front one. Yeah, we'll finish this harvest in this video. We'll let him go as I'm doing soil samples and stuff. He may not have much more he can do either. Hopefully, can fit it in the trailer. We have a lot of peas. That's good. Especially if we can sell it closer to that 2,000 range. Let's try to get out of the way. Let's grab some more soil samples. I have it lowered. I probably shouldn't. Might hit a rock or something. <laughs> Might end up breaking it and we'll have to buy it. Let's bring this a bit more over. Yeah, this one would probably be like three soil samples. We'll send those off. Get out of the way. Already, already got that one done. $150 in soil samples. A lot more cost effective just to rent it. Oh, oh, a button. This one, how much was this one supposed to cost? Fourteen hundred eighty-seven. Supposed to be seventeen. Oh, we also got the big field too. That won't be. That'll be expensive. That'll be the expensive one. We'll just send those off. That field is done. Shouldn't take too long. The other ones aren't too long. Ooh, we got sandy loam. That's not good. Or no, salt, uh, silty clay. Yeah, that's supposed to be a pretty bad one, if I remember right. You have to have a higher uh, seed rate. This one looks fairly good. This one looks fairly decent. This one, I have to uh, seed a little bit more. The variable seed rates. We'll park this over here. Uh, we'll just finish this off ourselves. Yeah, finish this for this video. We'll saw that little bit down in the corner. Honestly, I wonder, uh, could we just empty this into there? Make it a little bit easier. Oh, there we go. There we go. I going in? Yep. That's some on the ground? Dang it. That's not spilling either, right? a bit of a spill yeah we'll have to pick that up then yeah we'll have to pick that up with the front lower bucket yeah that uh, that was my worry was it would do that and it does do that Well, I'll just have this little bit left.
finishing up. Almost done. Hopefully we got enough room in the in the combine for this. It's not too far if we gotta empty it, but I mean we got, we got probably two strips. It'll be close. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty surprised how well it yielded even with the weeds. And we really don't have any precision farming aspect into this field. But yeah, next time yield should be better in theory. To build the nitrogen, pH, seed rate, all that should be of what it should be. Although I'm not sure if precision farming really supports some of these crops, so maybe it might be a little bit different with these. Some of the, the peas and the flax and stuff. Ooh, it'll be close. 98. Oh, uh, we should get 99. Oh. Oh, ho. I believe the the max on this combine ninety three hundred. We're eleven liters off. That was close. Hopefully, we don't spill any on the ground now. There we go. That looks like it's going in. Not going back here, right? Yeah, it's filling. We'll have over 30,000 liters just from this combine. We still got how much in the truck? Another 28,000. I'll bring this over just so I have a little bit easier when I have to empty it. Yeah, well that's done. Our big field harvest is done. Let's see. We have 34,000, plus there's like what, another 30,000? We got like 60,000 liters of peas off of that field. It's not even that great yield yet, so. I'm not sure what we'll plant into it. Um, yeah, we're kind of planting is until April, May. We do wheat. But I feel like a big field of it. I almost want to do something else. Yeah, because then we'd end up harvesting and then we'd have to put the same thing in again. Yeah. Because, yeah, harvests. So we want to do poplar, but that requires special header and everything. Yeah, we'd probably. Might not having to leave it sit almost. Would hate to do it, it's our big field. But just because planting is obviously in April, May time, got what you have to do. Yeah, so thank you for watching the first episode in the Edgewater Saskatchewan map uh, playthrough. Hoping to do quite a few more. Uh, off camera, I'll just get this all figured out. And yeah, we can start up possibly in the same day we'll see we'll see how much daylight we got left by that time yeah thank you for watching bye